Hello, hello, Kenny Evans here, another car video. Topic of this video is to never get complacent in relationships. So this is very important, you know, because obviously after you've done your own single life, you know, lived your best life as a single man, strong, confident single man, you decided to settle down or to get a woman who you have chosen to um, spend more time with you and who has proven that she deserves to be in your life for the long term. So now you got to understand how to stay in the relationship so you are happy and she constantly wants to be with you. You know, it's a balance, you know what I mean? And obviously over long term, um, that balance could be a little bit hard to uh, take control of. And with that, you get most men get complacent. And there's nothing wrong with being complacent. But you have to be aware and to be able to uh, steer the ship back on course and um, change some, some things up so your relationship goes in a, a more positive, happy direction for you, but also for her. So, I'm about to get into this here. So, let's begin. First, and again, none of these um, ideas or thoughts are in any particular order. None are ranked higher or less than the other. I just have to obviously put them in an order for myself. So, uh, that being said, first, complacency breeds disrespect. Because if a woman is too complacent or used to the routine, she's naturally going to want to change things up. Because women love change. They love being able to um, stir the pot and see how you react because they want to see your strength. They're testing your strength, t testing how how well you can handle drama and see if you you can stay steadfast and strong. You know, and with that, if you don't respond in a way or you cower to it or you just kind of submit to it, they're going to keep on doing it, you know. But if you rise up, you, you check them first, but then you, you uh, it's a relationship. So you got to keep in mind what they're saying and kind of change some things up. You know what I mean? If you understand attraction, you understand that that complacency, it breeds disrespect. And with that, after they're done um, with the disrespect, you got to check them and you got to change it up. Change whatever there, you know, is the problem. If you understand how, how, how relationships are and understand women, you understand, you'll see where you you might have been slacking and what she is wanting to convey to you or is conveying to you through the disrespect. You know, it is very important that you are aware of where you're lacking and correct that area. Very, very important. You know. So secondly... We always, as men, strong, strong men, have to do what's best for the relationship. You know, for example, that first example I used, if a girl or a woman, your, your girl is being disrespectful to you, you know, you change things up. You know, she don't like it. She's still doing being disrespectful to you. You may have to, you know, cut ties with her. Let her go. You know what I mean? You may have to just let her go. For the betterment of both of y'all. You know. But. If she does change it back around. She goes back. Falls back in line. Hey. Y'all stay in the relationship. Keep things easy. You know what I mean. You know. You got to figure out what is best for you. Of course first. And then what is best with, for you. Will be what's best for the relationship. You know. Of course. If she has some complaints. You keep it in mind. As long as they're rational. You know. Because this is a, a woman who's earned your trust and your respect so you should keep in mind um what she says because you still want to have her be around and be happy and enjoy being around you you know what i mean especially if she 
Well, only, of course, if she's making you happy. You know what I mean? So you got to always do what's best for the relationship and it may be best if, you know, the complacency too far to break up. But if you're able to correct it, hey, stay back in line and stay together, you know. But we always got to keep in mind in order to overcome complacency, there always has to be growth within your relationships or within your relationship. You as a man um, have to uh, be able to find ways to um, keep things interesting within the relationship. You know, don't always go to the same place during the date night. Don't always have sex the same way. Don't always have sex um, at the same time. You got to change it up, you know. You got to be willing to express yourself sexually differently. Maybe you, you got to sneak out <laughs> in the alleyway, have sex, you know, or, you know, you guys, you know, do a double date night, you know, one week or um, go different places within the date night, different places you've never been. Maybe you travel somewhere, you know, that you guys have always wanted to go unexpectedly. You know, you just surprise your girl. You know, there's always different ways to change and um, grow within your relationship, you know, and you got to keep that in mind, your relationship in order for it to be the best, there has to be constant growth, you know, and you got to always change things up. You can't stay the same and you, 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 <laughs> you have to make it a conscious effort to keep that in mind that you have to constantly grow within your relationship. Don't ever be complacent, uh, even though naturally it's going to happen, but don't stay there for long. You know what I mean? Whether it's you who catches it or your your girl who, 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 who catches it, you know, and, you know, be acting, acting strange towards you. You know, you got to find different ways to get out of that, that funk, do different things than you've already been doing, you know? So it's very important to keep that in mind. And um, whenever you catch, <clears throat> whenever you catch it, make it happen. You know, do what you gotta do to get out of that funk. Whew. So fourth, as a man, you gotta constantly be growing. You as a man has have to constantly be growing with your health, your finances, again with the, the relationship with your girl. You know your social status. You gotta constantly be growing, get being the best you could be. You got to constantly be the best you can be. You cannot stay the same. And in, in fact, even worse, you can't get worse. Like if you were in shape in the beginning of the relationship, you cannot then get out of shape towards the end. You know, that is what. <laughs> that's the problem. Guys who were not really steadfast in who they were in the beginning and they did whatever they had to do, whether it's uh, be in shape for a girl to look the best they can, get the money to get the girl and the status, whatever, to get the girl. When they get her, those are the guys who are most likely to get complacent because they didn't do all that stuff that they did because it was with what's inside of them and what brought them joy. They did it because of external factors, which was to get the girl, you know, and those are the guys who slack over time. That's why you have to be in order to be a strong man. And those are weak men who slack over time. In order for you to be a strong man, you have to be able to constantly grow, boom, constant growth, constant improvement in all aspects of your life. Those are strong men. Those are the men that women love. Those are the men that uh, women will submit to, you know what I mean? And, and they, those women will chase them because they're constantly growing, you know what I mean? And they don't know what to expect, you know? So we always got to be growing as men, strong men, you know, constantly in all aspects of life. But the caveat with that is you got to find a woman who is constantly growing as well. She can't then get out of shape while you're in shape. She can't then be having an attitude and treating you bad. And if you have kids, she that can't then be trying to hoard the kids and try to 
I mean, there's just a lot of stuff, crazy stuff that happen. You know what I mean? And just try to uh, treat, you know, disrespect you with the kids or in front of the kids. She has to be the best she could be with her health, with her, her, her respect towards you and her family and her knowledge of life. She constantly has to be growing and getting better, too. She got to look the best she can at all times. She got to be able to perform her, her wifely duties. You know what I mean? She got to be the best she can as well for you as you are being for her and yourself as well. You know, so that is important. We got to understand that, you know, we got to pick women who will constantly uh, want to grow and get better too. You know what I mean? All that stuff will help get rid of the complacency. You know, but you have to, you got to lead as the man. You got to lead as the man. You know what I mean? So all these things here I listed, you do these, you will definitely be able to get out of the funk of complacency and keep your lot your relationship alive and well and thriving. You know what I mean? So hey, that's all I got for y'all. You know, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. You know, um, leave a comment. Let me know what you liked or disliked about the video. Um, you know, um, I also want to know about other topics you guys want to discuss. We gotta have some some new discussions, you know, because this this channel is not just for me, it's for you guys. I want to help you guys. I want to know what you guys need help with or want help with. You know, so I appreciate all 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 um, topics that you guys bring up. And of course, if you find value in this video, donate. I appreciate all donations. You know, but until next week, I will see you guys then. And always remember, the strong man is the happiest man. Peace.